Hi, this is Carla with Shrimpy Sue Designs. I went to the um, One of a Kind Rubber Stamp and Scrap Show in Madison, Wisconsin this past weekend. And I'm just going to share my haul with you. Um, my first place I went was this uh, Gary Burden, I think was the name of it. And I believe that he's like a wholesale distributor because he had things from everybody. He had uh, supplies from, from Ranger, from... Tombow from Copic, you know, everything. Design adhesives, a little bit of everything. But he had these bins set out of like clearance stuff. And there was some pretty good deals in there. I didn't buy too much, but um there was there was a lot. And one thing I did pick up was this embossing cement. Emba embossing antiquities in cement, and it's by Ranger. And I'm probably gonna do a video on this because I'm very curious. Um, as to how this works, if it's similar to the Distress Embossing Powder or if it's going to end up being shiny and just the cement color. I'm curious, so I'll, we'll find out. Um, the other thing I bought from there was this little thing of Christmas bells. Um, I'd been wanting a few little Christmas bells to put on my, um, what do you call the configurations, my Christmas configuration that I'm doing from um, Tim Holtz. But anyway, and I wanted this little bottle also. <laughs> Gary Berlin and Company, that's the name of it. Gary M. Berlin and Company. So I picked that up. Um, I also picked up some Claudine Helmuth sticky back canvas in the white. Um, I'm going to be making my sister and her family a present using this um, that I got off Claudine's website. I'm not going to say what it is because my sister might watch this video. Um, let's see, I picked up some of Claudine's gesso, which really is very whipped cream-like consistency. It's very nice. Um, the gesso that I have is like a generic brand, so it's not very nice. Um, I mean, it works for covering a page or a canvas, but you can't get any texture out of it. And this will really give me some nice texture, I think. Um, I picked up some of her paint in traditional tan. I picked up some multi-matte medium. I have gloss, but I don't have any matte. Um, my gloss is by Liquitex, but I imagine it's the same thing as hers. So I'm going to try that and some a refill for my stays on ink, which is almost all the way dry, I think. <laughs> it's very old. That's one of the first inks I ever bought. Um, then I went to the Stampers Anonymous booth and Wendy Betchy was demoing and I love to watch her. I love her style, so I've taken a couple classes from her. Um, and just really love everything that she does. She's so creative. But anyway, she made me this tag and she signed the back of it for me, which was nice. It says, hey, I made this handle with care. So I will be handling with care and putting it up on my um, dresser with all my other favorite um, artisty things that I have that I've made or people have made for me. Um, I picked up some of Tim's new trimmings. Um, these are really nice. They had the display with all of them dyed with the distressing colors. So gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. Then I picked up some of Wendy's new Clearly for Art. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but it looks pretty great. It's a clear modeling film. It's not like Shrinky Dinks. It doesn't shrink. It just you can stamp on it, ink it whatever and then it um, you heat it up and you can just mold it into different shapes so you can give flowers dimension bird wings you can see here she kind of crinkled this heart you probably can't see that very good and then I also picked up um, another package of her art parts which these are great um, I don't know how to describe what they're made of it's like a it's, it's not wood. It's like cardboard, but it's real thick and sturdy. I mean, you can't bend it or anything. Um, but the, the crocodile goes through it, I guess, really easily. But anyway, you can stamp on this. You can ink it. You can paint it. Cover it in paper. Anything you want. So I picked up um, the set that is the frames, the circle and square frames. 
And then I picked up all the scallop, the scallop trim, and I already own the, um, I already own the, the spools, thread spools, I already own. Um, and then I also picked up some Sunflower Sparkle Perfect Pearls. And then for stamps, um, I went to three places to get stamps, even though there was a gajillion stamp set, stamp sets out there. But I just only bought three this time, which isn't very much for me. But the first place I went was the Rubber Cottage, and I picked up this Poinsettia stamp. Um, the Rubber Cottage has lots of unmounted rubber stamps. Um, they come like this. And then they sell the mounting film foam for um, $5 for a 12 by 15 piece of mounting foam. It's not the same as the expensive one, but it's still nice. Then Raisin Boat is a new stamp company that makes wonderful, wonderful clear stamps. They're great. Look at how detailed that is. I don't know if you can see in that wood grain how detailed that is. It's really good. Um, and they also have a rental program where you can rent um, it's like Netflix. You pay so much and you get stamps. And I think I'm going to try it out for a couple months. You can get two months for $5.99 a month. Um, I'm going to try that out and I'll do a video on that when I get my stamps and all that and explain how it all works. Um, but anyway, they had a great variety of stamps, very high quality. I was really impressed with this company. Then the next stamp that I bought was the Shrine right here from Stamp Camp, who has um, just a ton of, again, unmounted red rubber, um, high quality uh, background type stamps. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Every kind of background you can think of, from real artsy kind to just polka dots, florals, birds, you know, geometric shapes. Just gorgeous, gorgeous background stamps. And then, finally, I went to Darcy's Country Folk and picked up some pattern, this large pattern paper to make boxes out of. It's not like regular pattern paper. It's kind of shiny, and it's like a heavier. But anyway, I think it'll be really nice to make boxes out of. Because my daughter wants to make a tower of treats for our Christmas grab bag. So, there's snowflakes. So... Anyway, so that's my review, That's or that's my haul from the One of a Kind Stamp and Scrap Show in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, it was a great excuse to go to Madison and see my sister and spend money and spend time with my niece and my nephew. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Shoot me an email, leave a comment on this video. And I'll answer it. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. And please check out my blog at www.shrimpysue.blogspot.com. Thank you.